29 July 2023 Morning Murli Om Shanti Bhattada Madhuban Sweet children, take Srimad from Shibaba at every step. Give all your news to the Father through Brahma. Question Why is it that while being children of the one Father, some children have intellects filled with love? whereas the intellects of others have no love answer the children who maintain full connection with bab dada those whose intellects have no doubt about anything and who relate their true charge to shri baba through brahma are the ones with loving intellects however if you sulk with brahma or your brahman teacher due to any reason and Do not write to Baba because you think that you have no connection with Brahma and that you only have to remember Shri Baba. It means that Maya has caught hold of your intellect. Such ones are those whose intellects have no love. Song My heart says thanks to the one who has given me support. Aum Shanti The father also gives thanks to the children. The father thanks the children who are his helpers and also praises them. You children have now come to know that the unlimited father has come. The father enters the impure world. The sing, oh purifier come. When the purifier does come, he would surely come to establish the pure world of heaven in which very few human beings live. praise is sung of the pure world there is no one who calls out in the pure world it is only in this impure world that people call out devotees consider themselves to be impure truly it is only in bharat that there was the pure kingdom of deities there was purity in bharat they were very wealthy and happy now they are unhappy Shri Baba sits in the body of Brahma and explains. Therefore, you also have to remember the body of Brahma. If children go far away, for instance, if you go back to your hometown, you should write a letter to your unlimited father, who is also your bridegroom. You have to write to Shri Baba through Brahma. Shri Baba cannot hear without Brahma. You have to remember Shri Baba. through brahma there are some children who think that they do remember shri baba that they have no connection with the sakar form nevertheless since shri baba is here you definitely have to write a letter to baba through this one you have to give your news to shri baba through brahma it is sung that there are those who have loving intellects at the time of destruction and there are those who have no love in their intellects at the time of destruction love for whom for shri baba through brahma there are also some who have such a foolish intellect that they say they remember shri baba anyway shri baba says that by remembering him your boat will go across but where is he he is definitely here in this one's body he is teaching you through this one how would you write a letter to the incorporeal one brides write letters to their bridegrooms and bridegrooms write letters to their brides from the beginning of the golden age to the end of the iron age human beings have been writing letters to human beings souls now meet the supreme soul and so they write letters to him they talk to the incorporeal supreme father the supreme soul therefore they have to stay in connection through brahma only when you write a letter to shri baba through brahma but shri baba understand that you truly are remembering him maya catches hold of the intellect of some so that they become body conscious and they don't even write a letter they forget now at the time of destruction none of their intellects have love whereas the pandavas intellects have love 
those people think that the god of the gita is shri krishna acha even if it were shri krishna you would still have to write to him you also have to write to shri baba you definitely have to take shrimat some say that they do remember shri baba however they cannot receive advice without the corporeal brahma very good and first class children write that their yoga is with shri baba and that they will continue to help him however you cannot claim your inheritance from the grandfather except through father brahma you have to take advice at every step such a news comes to baba they sulk with brahma or their brahman teacher and maya completely turns their faces away you should understand that you have to take shrimat from shri baba at every step and ask baba what you should do under those circumstances baba always ask you children whether you are happy and content one is physical illness and the other is spiritual illness some never write to tell baba that they are happy that maya is not attacking them acha although he knows everything you still have to take directions from him am i right or am i wrong in this matter when you don't have accurate yoga you do wrong things the children who have loving intellects at the time of destruction have to come to the father the father is sitting here there are many whose intellects have no love at the time of destruction and so they become confused and start performing wrong actions you cannot carry on doing anything without taking shrimat they cannot reach their destination on their own without a guide how can anyone go there if they don't know the way a guide's hand is definitely needed one needs support when learning to swim too baba continues to caution you children even if you have doubt about any aspect at least stay in connection with this one after all it is through this one that you receive directions from shri baba baba has explained this chariot that is this throne has especially been fixed for the immortal image baba says i take the support of this one chariot that is his throne otherwise i could enter any one at any time and get the service done that i want done baba has explained if someone worships hanuman i grant him a vision of that i give him the regard of his devotion if i grant him a vision of hanuman his devotion would be totally for that one he would only hold on to him baba had selected a very experienced child he was a jewel merchant this is the business of the imperishable jewels of knowledge only when i enter the chariot every cycle can i carry out the stars he creates brahmans through brahma just as christians are created through christ the names are very similar therefore i have to enter the chariot of brahma i sit here and tell you the story of this one's birth The first birth is that of Shri Krishna. I come at the end of the last of his many births. I tell you all of those things accurately. If anyone asks, tell them Brahma is definitely needed first because only then can Brahmans be created through him. The physical father of humanity is needed. The father of humanity cannot exist in the subtle region. Brahma The father of humanity is needed here. I only come in Bharat when it is a time of extreme darkness. The devotion of half a cycle is now ending. They sing, Oh, purifier, come. If an hallination were to take place, the world couldn't become pure. The word an hallination is wrong. I come when people have become very unhappy. and impure the pure world is the golden and silver ages and the impure world is the copper and iron ages 
billions of human beings now exist here. That many will not be needed in the golden age. They have shown that missiles emerge from the someone's stomach, through which they destroyed their own clan. People have sat and made up such stories. Nothing emerges from anyone's stomachs. This is work for your intellects. Just see how much happiness people now have through science. Previously, there was no gas or electricity, etc. Baba is experienced. Baba says, I enter an old body. The body of Shri Krishna is not old. Shri Krishna is not impure. People call out, a purifier come. Therefore, he surely has to enter the impure world and an impure body. There are no pure bodies in the impure world. Here, souls are Tamapradhan and their bodies are also Tamapradhan. It is said, the golden age and the silver age. First, there is the golden age. There, the souls and the bodies are both pure. Later, souls became impure. I come and make them viceless. Maya is such that she pulls the airs of even good first-class children. They then became upset with a Brahman teacher or with Brahma and developed out and leave. Maya turns their faces away. From having loving intellects, they became those with no love in their intellects. Then they stopped studying with Shubhava. Some study, but they are unable to embed knowledge completely. Therefore, Baba says, it doesn't matter. Simply make two things firm. You have to remember Baba. Your intellect should now be here as well as up there, means in the home. There is the example of the genie. He said, give me work to do. Otherwise, I will eat you. Baba says, I give you the work of remembering me. If you do not remember me, Maya will eat you alive. You have to make time for remembrance. First of all, make a little time and your practice will then increase. Bao says, remain silent and simply continue to remember me. You know, Baba is up there as well as here. We have to return to Baba. You now understand that Baba has come into this one's body. If you do not have remembrance, Maya will eat you alive. There are many stories that have been made up. Previously, you were senseless. Baba now explains, when I go back, you then became the masters of the world. I talk to your souls. It is the soul and the body that passes exams. The father now says, became soul conscious. While living at home with your families, consider yourselves to be bodiless souls. The more you remember the father, the more you will benefit. This is called yoga. Actually, it is remembrance, the love of your souls for the father. You remember him. A lover and beloved love each other. They have love for each other's body. Both the lover and the beloved are bodily beings. It is as though the beloved is standing in front of the lover. You are now lovers of the Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul. There is only the one beloved and all the souls are lovers. That incorporeal father sits here and gives you directions through this corporeal one. You can neither see a soul nor the supreme soul. Yes, sometimes some are able to have a vision of a soul. Human beings are not able to understand anything. Baba grants them a vision of light because they have faith in that. It was said, the light is so bright that I cannot tolerate it anymore. Stop it. The eyes became red. Baba explains I am a star. Just as a firefly sparkles, in the same way, the soul comes out of the body like a star, means the example of Vivekananda. Whoever people worship, I grant them a vision accordingly. Baba sits and explains, this is your devotion that has continued, so I grant you a vision accordingly. As is a soul, so the supreme soul, but he is the ocean of knowledge. Each soul is a living being. 
All the sanskars are wooden souls. The father also has the sanskars of carrying out the task of creation, destruction and sustenance. He is the Trimurti, never knows Shivaba, and that is why they have forgotten to put Shiv, the creator, about the Trimurti. In fact, Trimurti Shiv is the god of the Gita, but people say Trimurti Brahma. However, there also has to be the creator of Brahma, Vishnu, and Shankar. The names of Brahma and Shivaba are separate. Otherwise, Whom do you call the creator? No one is able to understand this. The father comes and explains to your children. You have loving intellects. Those whose intellects have no love become scarvas. Although they come here, their status becomes much lower. Whatever they have accumulated is then finished and they receive a low status among the subjects. Just look what you can become. by studying this at this present time baba says children if you want to become deities you have to renounce bad things like poison only the one father is the true sadguru who can take you into liberation and liberation in life everyone has to go back at the same time it is not that someone can leave and go away in between they all have to play their full parts then at the end they all definitely have to return home like a swarm of insects this is also mentioned in the gita however because it says that they are versions of god shri krishna the importance of the gita has been lost how could you go to the land of liberation if the father didn't come later each of you comes at your own time to play your part this is a detailed explanation however in a nutshell he says remember me that's all god is one and all the rest are his children you have now become trikal darshi acha to the sweetest beloved long lost and now found children love remembrance and kid morning from the mother the father bab dada the spiritual father says namaste to the spiritual children the spiritual children says namaste and good morning to the spiritual father essence for the dharna first point in order to remain constantly happy and content take advice from the father at every step remember shri baba through brahma and also content to give him your news second point never have doubt about anything don't sulk with your brahman teacher or father brahma and thereby stop studying keep your intellect constantly full of love blessing may you spread rays of happiness into the world as an embodiment of happiness and become a master son of knowledge explanation Just as the father is the ocean of knowledge and the ocean of happiness in the same way you have to become embodiments of happiness and embodiments of knowledge do not just speak about every virtue but also experience them when you are experienced in being an embodiment of happiness you will then spread rays of happiness into the world as a soul who is an embodiment of happiness just as the rays of the sun spread over the whole world in the same way when your rays of knowledge happiness and bliss reach all souls you will then be called a master son of knowledge slogan a brahman with a divine birth gives the experience of divinity through his words thoughts and actions om Shanti